Hi ladies. So a few of you have asked me to post um, a few of my favorite things, how I get ready, kind of my top products. And it's really hard to choose, but um, there's a few basic that I'm using right now that just make my life easier and I love them for every day. Starting with tanning drops and a little bit of cream, okay? Because if I use a little tanning drops into my cream, and all of this is Trish, but you guys know that's what I work with um, for years and that's just what I use and I love. So this is a booster cream, which is a moisturizer and a primer, calms redness, hydrating primer. You know, these tricks are not for kids, okay? So now I'm gonna take just a couple of drops of my, about half a dropper I used, of my tan drops right into my moisturizer. Now, if you have another moisturizer that you love, you can put this right into that, that's the beauty of it. And I'll bring it down my neck so it'll give me an instant little bit of glow, but as it has like a light self tanner in it, so throughout the day, I have a little glow. And then when I take my makeup off, I still have a little color, which, you know, I'm not getting out much right now. So I like that. Okay, so that's my step one every day. Next, what I do is the new Soothe and Illuminate Cream, which has become like my staple go-to. It's almost empty. Luckily, I have a backup, okay? So I'm gonna take some of this and just kind of place this. This has a primer in it as well. So my cream has a primer for hydration. This has a primer and glow. It's got chamomile, it calms redness. It feels really good. I've already recommended this to a few of you that have picked it up. And when you get it, you are gonna be like, what have I done without this? Cause I don't know what to do without this. Okay, so then I just blend it right in. So say I was like, you know, I'm just, don't want anything but I just want to feel good I mean this you see what that does and like for my kids obviously when they do the makeup this is just kind of what I use as their base all over so for someone who doesn't really like makeup it's got like peachy tint but it's good on any skin tone light is light deep is deep honestly it it is like amazing so look at that hmm, I'm back in my 20s surpass the 30s right back to the 20s okay because a lot of you always say like you don't really look 40-ish so thank you and these are some of the tricks that help me okay next a lot of you have been asking my favorite um concealer and personally for me right now the correct and even right now i'm using shade two sometimes i use shade one um but right now i don't want to do like too much i'm not even doing any base right now just want to do a natural look right because i'm just Got my hair and braided, I did it myself. Maybe another video I could do, right? So here we go. No, we don't. I am doing, blending this out here right over my conceal, the concealer, right over the Soothe and Illuminate. The brush that I always, always love. Right here. All right. And that's my husband in the background ordering from the beverage center okay this is how we do it so you see that i mean this thing is so creamy i just did a little bit over my whole face and boom shaka laka hopefully nobody called the doctor um next something i love let's go blend right there so it'll spot okay is the portable stick foundation. Now it comes in all shades. If you're super natural gal, you can use it as your foundation. I like a tiny bit more coverage, so I do the corrected even first, but this is the best foolproof concealer because that looks nuts right there, right? Just wait, wait. Get rid of that little there. Do all the sides of the nose too. Not only to slim the nose, but if you do your face and then you just leave your nose white, I feel like it looks weird. Same brush or the sponge that I love, a little egg sponge. But it's just, you know, if the colors mix a little bit, that's okay because you want it to kind of be blended. You don't want it to look like the Lion King situation, which is kind of like my always joke for like those real theatrical makeovers when I'm in a store and someone's like doing two hour makeup. I'm just like, uh, okay. Who has time for that? Maybe when I was 19, but even then I had a job. So for me, these are just a few of my favorite things right now to get myself together and uh, looking a little bit like a 
person, a little better, a little shaped, a little more color. I hope this helps and uh, feel free to message me. People have been saying I don't want to bother you, but I'm, I'm not doing anything, so bother me. I'd love something to do. Everyone, uh, happy contouring.